What's up guys, Dakota Perez here today and I have a review of the Nike ACG Packable Parka. Now this was released a few years ago under the Nike Lab ACG label. It was designed by Errolson Hugh. I just never got around to making a review for it. I decided that there would probably be a lot of people interested in seeing what this jacket has to offer. Before we jump right into it, I just wanna let you guys know that I am going to be having a Techwear giveaway for one of my subscribers. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will make a video with more details about that. So just look out for that and maybe put some comments on what cool items you would wanna see in the giveaway and don't forget forget to subscribe and turn on the bell button so you'll be notified once that video does come out. So I wanted to highlight this jacket and go and do a review of it because I think this is the perfect spring summer jacket and we are on the cusp of spring and summer coming up so if you guys can find something similar to this I think that it doesn't have to necessarily be this exact piece but it's something that's really really great for springtime and summertime because it's super lightweight it's super easy to travel with and it is highly water and wind and resistant. Now to get into the technicalities of what this is made out of, it is Gore Windstopper, which is a two layer fabric and this acts as sort of a shell. The only difference between this and a three layer membrane is obviously it's missing an extra layer, so it does have less water repellency and the seams of this jacket are not taped because of the fact that it has to be packable. And that would be kind of hard to do when you have all the seams taped. Now with all that said, I have used this jacket in conditions that were extreme showers and extreme snowfall and I have not had any of the water seep into the jacket at all. I haven't even retreated the DWR yet. so. In terms of quality, Gore Windstopper is really, really amazing. And you see this in all different kinds of products, not even just shells, you see it in downs and bombers and all kinds of different pieces. I really think that this is one of their best fabrics and I really, really like it. So this jacket features a two-way zip on the front so you can zip up towards the bottom if you decide to wear it like that. The arm sleeves have Velcros that you can cinch and close them to prevent any water from entering your coat. There's also reflective Nike and ACG on these sleeves. So this is a good jacket to wear in the middle of the night when you are doing your walks or runs or you're doing whatever out and about because then oncoming traffic will be able to see you pretty easily because there's a few reflective pieces on this. The other reflective parts are directly on the hood. There's a Nike 3M print on one side of the hood and ACG 3M print on the other side. So whether the car is coming from the back or the front, there will be something reflecting off of this piece. And I think that's a really cool feature and it's cool for detailing. Also, when it's not reflecting, the 3M material is pretty subtle and like a dark gray and it's not too obnoxious in terms of branding. Now this jacket has a slight fishtail. It's not a very big fishtail, but it does kind of split off in the back. And there's also a giant breast pocket on the left hand side. There are also two zippable hand pockets that you can reach your hands into up on the front and those have a ton of space in them as well. I've been able to carry a lot of different things in this jacket. My favorite aspect of this jacket is the fact that you can pack it up into itself. There's a little pocket on the inside that has a sling so once you do pack it up you can just throw it over your shoulder and it's really really compact and if you don't want to pack it up you can actually use some jacket slings that are built into it that's another great thing that i love with this jacket it's packed full of features it's super lightweight it's super practical it's one of the best jackets that i have just because of the versatility you're able to wear it in a lot of different conditions I personally sized up on this coat so I could layer underneath it if I wanted to use it as an outer shell with some maybe down jacket underneath or one of my fleece pieces underneath. I'll throw up some pictures of different ways I've layered it and worn this and I think that overall the quality of it is really really amazing and since I did get it secondhand I also got it for $100 which is a steal. I think retail is around $200 or $250. Now, if you want to find this jacket, you're going to have to get it on Grailed or eBay or somewhere secondhand, but usually you can get it for a pretty decent price. And I honestly think this is one of the most understated pieces out of the entirety of the Errolson ACG era. The arms also feature articulation built into it, so the jacket doesn't really rise that much when you lift your arms and you're having a lot of movement in this coat. A lot of the panels that are part of the design of the silhouette account for movement and it's very geometric and very accommodating. So I think that this is just the best all encompassing spring summer kind of 
tech wear jacket and it's super easy to layer with it and also take it off and do other configurations with it. You can throw it into pouches on your bag. You can put it in your suitcase for when you're traveling. It's just an overall great jacket. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments down below what you think about this ACG piece. Let me know if there's any other ACG pieces you wanna see me review because I do have a fair amount of the entirety of all of the Errol Sonera collection, so. I wanna see what you guys are looking for in the comments. I'll respond to you, we'll, we'll see what's up. We'll shoot the shits, as the kids say. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this review, please drop a like. It really helps me out with knowing how I'm doing with these videos. And also hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this every single week. And don't forget to turn on that bell button so you get notified once I do upload my videos weekly. Also, don't forget to leave some comments on what you would like to see in the giveaway that I want to be doing in the future. I'm very excited about that. I am wanting to give away something super dope to my fans in appreciation of you guys. So thank you and until next time, stay Gucci.